Hi, I'm Ranger Elizabeth and I'm standing here on the grounds of Sagamore Hill National Historic Site. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about our pet cemetery here. One day, when looking out her window, Edith Roosevelt noticed that her young children were only playing in one half of their sandbox. After going outside to investigate, she discovered that the children had been burying their dead guinea pigs there. She promptly forbade any more sandbox burials for obvious health concerns and established a more formal and sanitary pet cemetery. The Roosevelt's had many different pets throughout their lives. Some were common, like dogs, cats, guinea pigs, but others were more peculiar. While at the White House, they had a pair of blue macaw parrots and even a one-legged rooster. For a time, the family had a pet bear and a badger named Josiah, both of whom were eventually sent to live at the Bronx Zoo. One of the most beloved four-legged members of the family was a black Manchester Terrier dog named Jack. While he may have had a bad habit as a puppy of gnawing on shoes and books, he was a spoiled friend to all and accompanied the family when they transitioned to the White House. When Jack died, the family buried him under a rose bush on the White House lawn. However, when TR's second term ended, Edith could not bear the thought of leaving Jack behind when the rest of the family returned to Oyster Bay. So the coffin of Jack was exhumed and brought back to Sagamore Hill, where on a summer afternoon the family held a somber second funeral for their departed friend. Some of the other furry family members buried here include Little Texas, TR's horse from when he fought in Cuba during the Spanish-American War, Tamara, Ted Jr.'s horse from World War I, Archie's dog Skip, and many other friends. The Roosevelt family had an absolute love for their many animals, which I'm sure many of us today can relate to, or at least understand. Next time you visit us here at Sagamore Hill, I encourage you to visit our pet cemetery and pay your respects to these faithful friends of the Roosevelt family.